Hi, Laura Huey here from Trim.com and uh, here to share the wealth of knowledge that we are acquiring here at Crim.com through trial and error, but mostly error. So we make mistakes so you don't have to. Uh, I learned something fascinating from Twitter yesterday, thanks to Jesse Huff for sharing this great idea, which is displaying your research through GIFs. Who knew you could do that? I didn't know, I, nobody told me. But not only can you do it, it's dead easy. Basically what you do is you create a, a very short PowerPoint presentation, use lots of graphics, make it very streamlined, which of course I didn't do being a typical academic, I went on and on and on, because I think everything's important to include. And which is why we end up with um, research uh, presentations that go on for like 40 minutes longer than they ever should. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so what I did was I created a PowerPoint and then I thought, oh, what am I going to do? I've got to convert the PowerPoint to a GIF. And most of the GIF apps on Apple, iTunes and in other sources, um, you know, they like the ones I was looking at were all um, like image based. So you had to have photos and I wasn't going to sit there and take photos like this. That's crazy. Right. Guess what? So I found online software. It's, uh, I think it's called converter.com or something like that. If you just Google PPT to GIF converter, I found some free software. It literally took, I don't know, I'm going to say 20 seconds. It wasn't ideal. It didn't come out as crisp as I might like, but it still came out pretty damn good. And guess what? I was able to do the whole thing on my phone. So it made it even easier. Downloaded my, I got out or uploaded, download, upload my PowerPoint to my to my iPhone, typed Google, typed into Google, it converted it. What do you know? I got a GIF. So check, you can check the GIF out on our CrimCom Twitter and uh, look forward to seeing some more screw ups by me as I work through the magical world of making GIFs. Okay. Peace out.